I am at Mesa Verde National Park. Here's the view from the campsite. Look at the wildflowers. <laughs> The sun is behind me, so I'm hoping for sunrise out across here. There's the Jeep. There is pit toilets down there nearby. And I noticed, and it's not advertised, there's a spigot in front of the restroom. So that's gonna be convenient picnic table and a fire pit and we're backed up here near the low growing trees for a little shade Cliff Palace is the largest cliff dwelling in North America. It was built around 800 years ago when ancestral Puebloan people began to move into the alcove. It is about 215 feet wide, 90 feet deep, and 60 feet high. To walk down into the palace is only possible on a ranger-led tour, which gives insight into the way in which the structure was lived in and how it was constructed. There are many cliff dwellings within the park, such as Balcony House and Long House, which can also be toured. There are several visitor centers within the park that have cafes, gift shops, and museums. The campground has gas, although during my visit, the pumps were out of order. There is also a camp store, showers, and laundry facilities available. Hey guys. I am getting some much needed laundry done. <laughs> Sounds like it's echoing in here. They do have a laundromat here at the campground within the National Park. It's $275 a load in these machines. And then the dryers are, I'm not sure how much it's gonna take for the dryers. It says a quarter and I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to run it. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, just waiting for the laundry to finish. Oh, there's your friend. Wonderful. Look at you guys. I decided to get out early this morning and check out the scenic drive here at Mesa Verde National Park. There are a number of overlooks all along this road. Beautiful views and who knows I might check out some more runs and some short trails. There is a lot of road work going on in the park right now. So they were having to reduce it to one lane along this drive and using pilot cars to get the traffic through. Slows your travel time down a little bit, but it's not bad. I 
I am in the Chapin Mesa area of the park overlooking Spruce Canyon and I'm hoping to take a look at the Spruce Tree House which is supposed to be a self-guiding tour. There's a little cafe here, museum, just all kinds of things. <laughs> Well, that's disappointing. Guess I'll just have to look at it from the overlook. So they do have a couple trails here, Petrogriff Point Trail and the Spruce Canyon Trail. Both are short, 2.4 miles. I think they're both moderate to strenuous. Uh, I'm going to skip those because I have another hike planned for later this afternoon. They do have a post office here in the park. I'm going to go check out the museum. It's a nice little museum, has a lot of information, but they're doing work on it right now, so it's gonna improve even more. So wait just a little while before you guys come here, and a lot of these improvements will hopefully be made, including the road work, maybe it'll be done. Well, I stopped in at the gift shop and I got a long sleeve shirt. I <laughs> hope you guys can see that. <laughs> it's getting cool here in the mornings. It's going to get colder where we're heading because we're going up into some really high elevations here soon. Look at all the wildflowers. So colorful. Point Lookout Trail. It's a short little trail right near the campground. 
huge parking area right next to it because it's parking for the amphitheater and it is so pretty but hot very hot right now <laughs> I don't know if this is the final part of the trail or if this is just a hint at what's to come. Wow. It is early, packing up today and heading out of Mesa Verde National Park, heading in towards Silverton today. There's some hiking trails that I want to do in that area, which I think are going to be awesome. <laughs> going to get an early start. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will take you along in the next video to wherever our adventures lead. <laughs> I've enjoyed this. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.